Yeah, our next one is uh, Pyracantha coccinea. This is number 119, the Firethorn. So the plant I'm standing in front of, this is uh, what we call a spalier. So this means that it's, it's pruned essentially into a single, or two planes, I guess, uh, or, or one plane. Flat against a wall is the most common way to espalier. And I think this is, is, is one of my favorite ways to see pyracantha used. Oftentimes, more often, uh, you see a really heavy uh, fruit set on pyracantha, much more so than you see on this plant. So there's only a few uh, fruit here, but you can imagine the impact is quite astounding when you have this plant covered in these uh, bright red fruit. The reason why I like espaliered uh, pyracantha more than uh, more of a, a wild and woolly shrub is A, they get very large, and oftentimes, as this branch here suggests, they tend to be sort of uh, out of control. Um, and the other reason uh, is sort of related to that, they have extremely uh, thick thorns that uh, cause severe damage. I've, I've been poked by a few of them, actually got some slight infections, but um, nonetheless, the ornamental impact uh, of pyracantha combined with how tough a plant it is uh, make it a really uh, great choice. So that's uh, pyracantha coccinea, firethorn.